Hey, what's up, players? Lipso from Summoner's War here, and today we're going to do some Hall of Heroes. The Hall of Heroes this time around is Dark Magic Knight. Contos probably felt bad for giving us the Necropolis dungeon because they realized how difficult it was. They're, they probably had an internal discussion saying, hey, hey, Jim, um, you think we should give them a little monster to help them out a bit yeah sure yeah sure seems like seems like a good idea mm -hmm. yep water magic knight is a is a great monster that everyone gets that helps with necropolis but um this uh dark magic knight is actually a better version of the water magic knight so so it's gonna be pretty cool to um farm her and build her up i'm actually I'm actually going to farm multiple ones because I want to skill them up with the potential of also skilling up both Dark Magic Knight Lynette and also the Water Magic Knight Lapis. I'm, I'm going to keep both of them, actually. I'm going to keep both of them, which uh, most people probably won't do. So, so B1 is pretty easy. This is actually not too bad of a Hall of Heroes overall. Um, it takes a little bit, B1 and B2, it takes a little bit of time. B2 takes about five minutes and B3 probably even a little bit longer. But it's possible to do an auto, actually all three floors, with a decent team with this. This is as opposed to the Death Knight Hall of Heroes, because, uh, cause, uh, yeah, yeah, that was, that was pretty... Uh, pretty rough especially when an arnold just one shots all of your wind mobs even like especially all the support wind mobs like shannon and bernard yeah they're they're all gone in one shot yeah this is a pretty pretty good hall of heroes i'll show you how many i've farmed so far um it's a decent amount i farmed like two magic knights worth so far so yeah it's it's pretty fun really the strategy for this is pretty straightforward Bring your best hitters, all elements, they're, they're light and dark. Veromos is really helpful because you're going to be facing a lot of heal blocks. So Veromos is really helpful for that. Chitsune is really helpful for that because her heal uh, is not affected by heal blocks. Um, Veromos, so Veromos, a healer, um, preferably two. I have Bella and I have Chasun. One thing to know about the Dark Barbaric King here is that sometimes if you're farming, you know, you don't want to farm B3, you want to farm B2. And even when you're farming B2, sometimes his third skill, 25% chance to attack again, sometimes that just procs like crazy. Like it's, it's procced on me about five times in a row so far. And he always targets Bella. So that's why it's helpful to have a backup healer besides Bella, because once in a while, your Bella will die because the Dark Barbaric King is just going to destroy him by, by hitting him five times in a row. And, and that's happened to me twice so far. Granted, I've farmed this Hall of Heroes like at least 40 times, if not more. So yeah, that's one thing to watch out for. I didn't realize Dark Barbaric King had so much uh, potential to get RNGesus on his side or I should say get me on his side. But yeah, Dark Barbaric King is pretty helpful. And this level is not too bad either. Dark Succubus, Light Succubus. We can we can do B3 later on as well. But uh, even if you can finish B3, chances are you probably won't want to farm B3 unless you can get it done in like five minutes just because it takes so much time to auto B3. Most people end up farming B2 anyway, so I don't think I'll do B3, but you can tell that I've beaten it. And the team that I used for that, for B3, is uh, Veromos. I didn't use Hua. Instead of Hua and Orochi, I had uh, I had Varad and the last... Actually, no, I did have Hua. Instead of Orochi, I had Varad. Um, so I had a... I had a pan elemental team, all five elements. I had Veromos, Dark, uh, Bella, Light, Varad, Water Dragon, and then Hua, naturally Fire, and Chitsune, Wind. So that was pretty cool. 
And I can show you the runes after this, actually. So they have some pretty decent runes. I, I've been, you know, these are all my six stars that I've been building up for a decent amount now. If you've been following my videos for a while, you you know that my first video was when Prochi was a nab. And um, I've been building him up quite a bit since then. Um, so let me show you the runes. Veromos I have maxed out now. At least the slots 246 speed. HP and defense actually because I found a good good guard runes for him like these two guard runes I had to make him violent guard so these are his stats almost almost 20k HP not quite there yet 151 speed could be better um, defense is pretty decent 1.6k so that's Veromos and Hua um, again I still haven't found a good rune for her yet for for the sixth slot but her speed and HP are decent and her really main strength is her speed uh with this so she can she can go pretty frequently and reduce people's attack bars add a defense or, or speed debuff and her resistance is pretty high so she doesn't get affected by status ailments that often i've also been working on maxing my bellas um, maxed out his hp i'm gonna max out his defense soon and speed you know i haven't found a slick six star slot two rune for him yet but you know he's pretty decent he's got decent speed um, decent accuracy and resist same as Veromos, 20k HP, but uh, about 1.3k defense um, I don't really shy away from defense like a lot of people like a lot of players um, I think defense has its use especially now that the destroy runes are going to be coming out Defense is going to reduce your HP less than going max, you know full HP So so what was the other monster? Oh cheat soon? I found a new rune for her six star slot two doesn't have the greatest subs, but um, you know her slot four is maxed. Um, slot six is a work in progress, but she has 35k HP. Yeah, eat that, suckers. <laughs> and uh, she, her speed is not bad either. That's all from subs, by the way. At 56 speed, all from subs. Um, so there's a six, and six is 12 plus 18. It's like 30 speed right there, plus 12 is 42 speed, um, and another 14 speed. So this is all speed from subs. So naturally, I gave her some really good runes. Who else Who else was on the team? One, two, uh, three, four, and Prochi. Naturally, 100% crit rate for sure, 72% accuracy. Uh, I have two focus runes on him and two blade runes just to maximize his accuracy. And... I got this new rune for him. Again, not the greatest subs, except for that crit damage. That's a pretty nice sub. I shouldn't say pretty nice, but decent, you know. And I gave him HP so that he can survive in Giants. I still haven't finished my Giants Auto B10 team, but yeah, those are the runes for my team. And uh, yeah, good luck. Farm, farm the crap out of this Hall of Heroes, because she's good, and she's going to help you out with Necropolis. I still haven't managed to beat B8 yet, but once I do, I'll upload another video for it. So yeah, that's it for now. Peace, guys.